guys, what's up? Welcome back to another, to another awesome, yes, I stumbled. Full and food Friday. And no, I'm not doing it over again, because that's good enough. <laughs> Full and food Friday. Full and food Friday here at Big John TV, right? Yes. Well, all about and us. Food, it, family, fun. And it's fan mail. Fan mail. Are you awake? I know. Next no. to me? No? Okay. So, Alex, you're awesome. Yes, you are. We totally appreciate this. This was in our P.O. box a couple days ago. We just picked it up. We are so excited. You are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We can't say it enough. I, I told him that in the email. Sometimes thank yous just don't seem like enough. But we really, really, truly appreciate it. Uh, we don't run this channel as a pledge drive channel. We don't look for handouts. But when we get them, we love them. And it's a big part of our channel. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Alex? It's not like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Exactly. Right. But thank you, thank you, thank you when we do get. Exactly. So Alex sent some goodies, some snacks, some of his faves, um, and he wants us to try it. So that's what we're going to do. I think he said these were going to be Christmas themed? No. No, that's another one? There's another one okay, on its great. way. I think he already posted it too. So oh. it, it's, you know, that's what I'm saying. Thank you for another this box and for the next box and for the last box. I can't get it. I needed scissors. We have the coolest... Okay. Folks here with us on this channel. I got it. The generosity is astounding. So we're going to England today. This is a UK snack box. I get that's, it. That's one way to do it. I guess we could go along the side. The box. And there's still the box. You know what you care? This is what you could really do. Watch. This is here. Ready, set. But look, there's tape in between. That's was, one way to do it. It was already started. We might as well just access that point. Because it had a little bit of a rough ride. It did. But there's no nothing's falling out. That's true. All right, so first off, we've got Max Strong Jalapeno and Cheese. Ooh, those sound really good to me. Oh, wait. Got double crunch chick, chicken. And chorizo. 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 And look at this. Another cool little box of, uh, what do you call this, magazine? Pamphlet. Pamphlet. A guide. Wait a second. Slow down, man. Please tell me that those. So we're gonna get into this box, not knowing what's in here exactly. If it turns out to be a ton of stuff, we're gonna stretch it out to two videos just to not overload one. Yeah. Um, but let's let's first get through it. Right. So let's let's, let's pull everything open, out. Yeah. Open We've it all up. Dorito stacks. Look at that. Dorito stacks. Oh, a little shopping bag here. Open it. Oh, I know. It's I know so what cute. I it's know. No, open it up. What is it? It's a hedgehog. Show it. Show it's it. It's a Pokemon. No, no, it's not. You Remember the, I'm positive. Remember the conversation we were having recently about hedgehogs in other countries? Pokemon. Look. It is a hedgehog on this side and a red squirrel on this side. Pokemon. It is not a porcupine. <laughs> oh, there's some drinks in here too. All right, so, oh, this is extra special Asda Pigs in a Blanket Hand Cooked Crisp. Pringles Prawn Cocktail. Woo! All right, we're fully unloaded. Comment down below right away. Did anything get lost in shipping? There's no note saying there that no things got taken out. It did say it's ag checked. But the box was open, so yes. you never know. This is fantastic. This is a nice pile of stuff. It's so cute. So I think, I think this is doable. In I think video. we can do it. I think so. So let's start with the one that Jamie already started to open here. This is Max Strong Jalapeno and Cheese. It's got little um, three flames for extra hot. So I don't know if you're going to be into this one, son. Oh, he opened it. So he's going to want it. Try it. Mm. Now the Max Strong Chips Crisps. I like these. They're sturdy. They're thick. Where are you going? Mm, There's a camera spicy. right there. Well, surprise. Jalapeno is It's got spicy. a good spice. It's got a great jalapeno flavor in there. I love these. He really should have watched us eat these first. Right? Because I would have told him. He's getting kind of, kind of brave with the spices. But this is spicy. The jalapeno flavor on that is fantastic. Those are really mm -hmm. good. I like the sturdiness, the thickness, the crispness of those. Those are really good. All right. What do you think, Manny? I like them. 
So he has given us on here a spot to give it a rating out of four. I will give this a four out of four. For flavor or for spice or for everything? Just in general, rating. Um, what flavor were they? What was the name of them exactly? Jalapeno and cheese? Jalapeno and cheddar. Um, I'm going to go 3.5 because I want more cheese. Jalapeno is fantastic. Uh, if you get a coated chip, you get that like kind of sharp cheddar flavor. Two the first out of one. one. Too I'm, spicy for Jamie. I'm glad you tried it, son. 3.5, great jalapeno. A little bit more cheese on my bite. And I'd have given it a four. Hmm. I want to try this one. Hold on. Let's there see. Was... Maddie, pick one of the Max Strong. <clears throat> But nothing spicy. Chicken chorizo. Tell them, not me. I can read it. This they is, can't. I picked the chicken chorizo one. Chicken right. chorizo. Chorizo being a, a sausage. Mm -hmm. um, depending on where you're at in the world, it could be a loose sausage, like a ground minced meat, or like sausage in a casing. And Ooh, sometimes it can have a bit of a spice to it. Can, yep. Whoa. I'm gonna take a big piece, gosh. Hmm. Double crunch, double XL, chicken and chorizo. These <laughs> chips are huge. <laughs> they are. They're really, really good. I like that crunchiness. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's I good. I get kind of like a, a grilled flavor maybe from the chicken. And then a little bit of like the chorizo flavor, but nothing's overpowering in there. No. And it, to me, it just tastes like a really solid, it's a barbecue chip, but then right. you get that meatiness in there too. Hey! What do you, what do you think, Maddie? I um, like the flavor of 10 out of 10. How about a four We're out of four? Out of oh. Solid four out of four for me. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, four out of four. Those are good. These border on like a kettle chip yes. texture to me, and I love kettle chips. Oh, that was good for me to grab. Nice. Walker's Max Double Crunch. Bold barbecue ribs. Ooh, so these are going to be extra crunchy again. I'm kind of digging that texture. You know what? These ship well too, it seems, because these bags yeah. are not beat up and they're not full of crumbs. As I say that, this one's kind of <laughs> full of crumbs. Ooh, smoky. Mm. Hmm. Mm. These are really good. I like the previous two better. These are a little bit like weak on the barbecue flavor. Yeah, I, I appreciate the barbecue flavor. There is a meatiness in there too, which I'm I'm on board with. It's just a compared to the other two, especially it's a little bit like flatter. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go solid three. Three for me. Four. four. Did you say any words on that one? Yes. Okay. Can I get it? <laughs> Are right. we done with the Max Strong? That Strongs? is it for the Max Strong. Okay. So let's stick with some crisps and go with the pigs in a blanket. Oh, yeah. And these are by Asda. Oh, here. Oh, that smells very herby. I was not expecting that. So these are Asda Extra Special Pigs in a Blanket hand cooked. <laughs> Crisps. Hmm. With a warming, a warming smokiness, and made with British potatoes. He says, "Hopefully these make it through pigs in a blanket flavored crisps," and they did. They're here. Um. The the herbiness in there really makes me think more of sausage than pigs in a blanket. It's like a breakfast sausage to me or Italian sausage almost. They're really good. They're, they're not bad. I'm going to go with three out of four. They're not my favorite. There's been other things I like better. Mm. And it just doesn't scream pigs in a blanket to me. And it is UK pigs in a blanket, which is the little sausages rolled in streaky bacon. The predominant flavor in there for me is rosemary. It is. That's what I was saying. And it's that kind of herby. Yeah, that kind of makes me go... Where's the bacon? <laughs> so, I don't mind it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm going to go solid maybe 2.5, 2.75. Not yet. Almost three. Yeah? Yeah. And I was saying a three. Yeah. I like it. It's a good flavor. 
just doesn't scream the name to me. And you can't tease me with bacon and it'll give me proper, like, I can't proper say bacon flavor. So you I'm didn't eat them at all, did you? Why? Silly boy. All right. Next one on the book is Pringles. So shall we go to that? Let's yep. do it. Not new in the UK. Been around for many years, but a flavor of Pringles, I'm sure, isn't available in the US. Correct. Correct. This is prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. Prawn Pringles. cocktail is like something you eat at fancy parties. Yeah. It's something your know. parents ate at fancy parties when you were a kid. I liked shrimp more as a kid than I do now. And I never I've never been a fan of that style, the cocktail shrimp, the like unbreaded, unfried versions. Yeah. It'd be it, something we would have at like a New Year's Eve party. It always reminded me of like chewing on a finger. Uh huh. Hmm. I like this texture better than the actual texture of shrimp. Yeah. The color makes me think of Pepto Bismol though. Yeah. Not to lie. That's colorful. Do you like that one? And I'm not going to try wheel shrimp. Oh, right there. Let me see the front. I'm getting that cocktail sauce right mm -hmm. now. There's That's like a, what I get more than anything. There's like a slight horseradish, horseradishiness in there. Cocktail sauce typically has horseradish right. in it. Mm. I didn't really get the horseradish. I got more of like the vinegary tang. Mm -hmm. oh. I dig those. I'll go three. Yeah. Solid three. I'm gonna go three, bordering on four. They're not my favorite. They mostly almost taste like salt and vinegar to me, with a little something extra. Yeah. Am yeah. I gonna have? Yeah. Am I the only one that likes it? How yep, I, I guess so. Honestly, if they were any more shrimpy, that's true. I don't know if I'd go higher or lower on the score. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. You know what I mean, Vern? All right, shall you we know? do the stacks and keep in the crisp oh. the genre? Yep. Do it, man. Go right ahead, dear. I was going to let you. I was going to let you do that. All right. So these I are, love these containers. Yeah, I was going to say, these cool containers, the Dorito Stacks, we do not have these here nope. in America either. I think it's a great way to keep the chips whole, and they're a little bit thinner, so they have a different texture. Apparently, he's hungry over there. And he really likes this flavor. All right, so these are... Flaming chicken wings. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Flaming currently, chicken wings? Apparently, I don't know how to read because I read that flamingo chicken wings. <laughs> flamingo? What? I was like, what does flamingo chicken wings taste like? Flamingo is a bird. But you know, it's only missing the O. Right. <laughs> not to die? Not flaming. Yeah, it's not flaming. <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. I'm mostly confused by these. I get a slight like meaty taste in there. There's like no spice at all. No um, no meatiness at all. Just very slight, but mostly I taste the corn chip. Mostly the corn like chip. Bingo. <laughs> My nose is itching. Oh, um, uh, yeah, those are like a one and a half. Yeah. If, if we're talking out of four again, that would be a failure. Um, they're not, I mean, I, I don't hate them, but there's just no point. You know? Mm-hmm. Feel me? You might change. Need help? No. That's a weird combination, those two together. There you go. So now what flavor are these? Uh, sour cream and onion. Sour cream and onion, common here. Yep. Uh, or is it more sour cream and chive, or is it nope. both? Onion. onion. Sour okay. cream and onions the, is the classic description title flavor. Pretty good. They look seasoned well, like going to be lots of flavor. This is like the Cool Ranch ones here. Very similar. Not used to it on a tortilla chip. It's not entirely the same as Cool Ranch, but it's very close. It's a little bit more sour, creamy. Mm -hmm. 
I I really liked this one and that one. I'm gonna give these a three. I'm gonna go back up to a three on this too. The, the salt level on them is nice. The flavor on there is it's a lot stronger than the other one for sure. I taste something other than the tortilla chip on there. Yep. All right, these ones. Are we all sorry? Did we did we get all those? What did you say on it? Three. And you like them? Mm-hmm. Good solid three, maybe even a 3.25. Nice. All right, next up, I'm excited about these. Uh, uh, these sound good. We'll just mm -hmm. do one back. These are called the Snaffling Pig Company Pork Cracklin. Um, let's not talk about the rest of the flavor yet. Okay. Uh oh What'd you do? <laughs> Sit up so they can see you. You're hiding. I'm scared. Okay, I'll just say it. It's mustard flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. It's not mustard. Those smell. <laughs> Whoa. It's pig skins. I mean, that's I was like what the combination is, right? of pig skin and mustard. Right. I don't know about that. All right. Hold on. You should wait. Let's all do it. All right, Jamie. Grab a couple of them chicharrones, pork skins, cracklins. There's small ones in there if you want a small one. There's just little pork rinds. You like pork rinds. Pork rinds do not have a great smell. Should I not eat it? Sorry, I forgot to remember, wait. Remember when I said oh, I'll do it at the same time? I know, I forgot to wait. And that's why. Try it. I'm scared the face mom made. You know what it is? Ooh. Why is it spicy? <laughs> because it's <laughs> Coleman's mustard. Mustard, when it's true mustard like this, has way too much of a horseradishy flavor for me. Here's the thing. I'm not getting the spice. From the horseradish and the Coleman's mustard, but I get that horseradish flavor. It tingles and my tongue. It's like the Philippe's mustard that you like. I'm okay with these. I know you would be. I don't like the horseradish flavor. It it's is not horseradish, good. that's mustard. Well, whatever flavor it is, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. These could use a touch more salt, <clears throat> and they're or odd. Vinegariness. They're odd pieces, like chunky. they're kind of small. Yeah, they're chunky and weird, but the texture of them's nice. Crispy pork skins, a little bit of mustard flavor to them. It kind of smells like death in the bag. Oh yeah, pork rinds always. It, it's pig skin. I mean, it, it's oil and pig skin. So it's, what do you give that one, Jamie? Zero, because you didn't try it. I'm gonna give it a one because I don't care for that flavor. And I'm going to go back up to a four. Oh, probably a four. Probably mm. a four. I, I did have a complaint. We're all over Daddy the board on that one. I, uh, yeah, but I also love pork skins. But it, my hesitation on that four is the salt level. Could have been more. It needed a little bit more. Salt. So it's like, it's a 3.75, 3.95. I'll just go four. Good stuff. All right, let's get into the dessert. Okay, we've got crunchies. Um, get that Friday feeling. It's, what? That's what it says. <laughs> get that Friday feeling with the crunchy. So the crunchy, it's the honeycomb, chocolate coated, uh, super good and crunchy. We absolutely love these things. What do you have? So you want to learn some Birmingham slang? Mm -hmm. sure. Birmingham. Each regional dialect accent in the UK has certain slang words and expressions that are unique to it. And Brummy is no exception. Below is a list of common Brummy slang words and expressions accompanied by their meaning. Babby is a variation of baby. Cack-handed, doing something in a clumsy way. Gamble, a forward roll in gymnastics. Mom, a word you're quite familiar with, but unlike the rest of UK, Brummies call their mother's mom instead of mum. This makes buying birthday and Mother's Day cards <sighs> frustrating as almost all cards will have mum on them. Oh, how funny. Pop, a word used for soda or carbonated drinks. And Terra a bit. See you later. Tell a bit. How funny. So pop still is used in some parts of this country yes, for soda parts. as well. I had friends from Michigan, Minnesota area, and they called it pop. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a bite of oh, it. You haven't now. done that yet? <laughs> Should we open a second one? Yes. Yeah, what? Mm, is the you... honey actually inside? Yes, Jamie. No, it's honeycomb stuff, like candy. There's Some places candy. call it sea foam. Yeah. 
I love. Milk chocolate with golden honeycomb center. Oh, yeah. I was looking to see if there was actually any real honey in there, and I don't see it. Um, we did do our own. Share half that with me, please. You guys share that one. Me you and Maddie like will share actually, this one. That's not bad. <laughs> no, that's not bad. Take one more bite and you can. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Um, we did do a recipe video making this stuff at home, and it turned out fantastic, and it included real honey. So mm -hmm. this mm. has a better texture than my homemade stuff. Sorry to say, yeah. it did. It does. Well, that's because it's factory made. That's amazing. The perfect balance too of honeycomb to chocolate. Mm-hmm. Perfect texture. Mm-hmm. Love these things. It's so light and airy. Next, we've got Shulta. Oh wait, I've got to rate that one. I'm yes. gonna give it um, a oh. five. I give it a five out of four. Maybe even a six out of four, because it's fantastic. Agreed. Oh, now we're getting into ASMR, good grief. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. this says. Hey, it's Fanta. All right, Alex says, this is not new, but a personal favorite. He says, I know you love a mystery flavor, so if you are up to up for a challenge see if you can work this one out there are three different flavors out they're all with the same packaging all inviting all an inviting bright green liquid hmm. well this is going to be very difficult oh. actually he says so far he hasn't seen any word on what the flavors actually are because oh, it's like green apple can i have the first sip because i can somebody have the first no sip? she's sniffing it first it's gonna be difficult because we just ate chocolate and candy so mm -hmm. We should have cleansed our yeah, palate. Yeah, really should have. What? Water. 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 It tastes like green apple. It smells like green apple from here. It smells like green apple Jolly Ranchers. That's my favorite one. Can I have some? No. <clears throat> the fact that it is um, sugar free kind of throws a wrench into it. <clears throat> yeah, that's totally green apple. No, it's not. There, there might be some kiwi in there. There yeah. might be some it, um, some melon, some like honeydew melon. I get a little bit of like a meloniness. <clears throat> Maybe even like... Hold on. Like Melanie Griffith? Yes. What do you say, sir? It's <laughs> the first one I can think of. <laughs> Give it back, sir. Um, um. What's your guess? What's the orange fruit with the white outside? Orange fruit with cantaloupe? Cantaloupe, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It's a pretty good guess. It's not as tart as you would expect something like a green apple to be. Like I said, because it's sugar free, mm -hmm. um, I would assume that that flavor would make it. So I'm gonna officially guess. I don't know. Mm. I don't wanna guess. I do like the little like twisty here. You know what just hit me? Me? Le lychee. I was gonna say lychee, yeah. cheater. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm getting cantaloupe. I'm getting honeydew. Mm -hmm. Lychee. Mm -hmm. Potentially mm -hmm. kiwi, but not mm -hmm. very strong. Mm -hmm. um, Stuff I'm looking at. Uh, it. Green apple would be too easy because it's green. That's right. what your mind wants to think. So there could be some sour apple in there still too. If there's not any of those fruits in that mix, I. That I'm nuts. I want to say something weird like dragon fruit too, almost. Yeah, well, that's what the lychee. That what if it's something like oddly specific, like the green apple Jolly Rancher, like the green apple suckers with the caramel? Well, that would be a silly representation then because this is sugar free and you can't have a sugar free right. version trying to replicate it so, something that's full of sugar. Right. You know what I'm saying? Does it taste like, um, I don't know. Good question. Let me think. Let me think. <clears throat> apple cider. That, yeah, there could be some apple in there too. But so, not sweet. Sour apple, green apple, whatever you want to call it. Kiwi, lychee, honeydew, uh, something in that ballpark. Yeah, something lychee. Very tropical. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys. Did what? you have a favorite? No. Oh, yeah. Um, the candy bar. The crunchy bar for sure. The My second favorite would probably be the jalapeno cheddar chips. These, uh... Pigs in a blanket. Yeah. The candy, the soda, the cracklins. 
of the stacks, I think. What was the second one? The onion, sour cream and onion. I love These ones are really good. And the Max, which, uh, not the barbecue one. The um, chicken and chorizo? Yes, chicken chorizo. Great box of food, Alex. Thank you so much. You Thank guys... you for the hedgehog bag, yep. even though Jamie doesn't believe it's actually a hedgehog. <laughs> It's yeah. adorable. It's we've, a porcupine. We've been getting comments because we haven't done a foreign food tasting in a while. So thank you, Alex, and I hope you guys all enjoy it. Oh, yeah, and, and I like let's, this. Everybody give a big shout out to Alex. Yep. Smash that like Tell button. Thank you. Thank you, Alex, for hooking Big John TV up because thank this is the content you, that you guys love. Mm -hmm. And that's how we like to do it. These are snacks that you enjoy from your country, wherever you are in the world. And we've never had it. We like to experience it. So thank you. All right, what do you tell them, kid? Like, subscribe, share with your friends. You, you can find Big Dog TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You guys can barely see me because of all this food. I know, everything's too tall for your face. There you go. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. See ya.